What's up everybody, it's Seneca Tyree from the Royal Bill Media Group and in this video I will show you how to connect the Newmark PT-01 Scratch directly into Native Instruments machine software. So in order to connect this turntable into your mixer, you're going to need these two audio cables and then plug these up into where it says line out right here. You do notice there is no power supply that's because my power supply cord is not that long, all right? So once again, just plug these two audio cables into where it says line out. I will show you how to do it right now. Next, you're going to plug in the opposite end of the audio cables into where it says tape on your mixer. And you're gonna make sure you press main to main is always pushed in. Where it says main power, you never want your volume to be peaking at red. That's not really good at all. Okay, and where it says main mix, you want to keep it about right there. It's pretty safe. Now, going back to the mix for your turntable, keep everything balanced. Right here where it says left and right, keep that in the middle. Where it says level, you want to keep that in the middle as well. Now, grab your TRS cables and plug them directly into where it says left and right, main out. Keep in mind that these two TRS cables are going directly into your audio interface. The left channel is the black cord. The right channel is the blue and black cord, which are both TRS cables. You can find these cables at your local Pro Audio store or online. When plugging in your TRS cables into your audio interface, make sure to have this part clicked to line. Why? Because we're not using an instrument. As you notice right here, I have the same thing clicked on line. Also remember to have your direct monitor always set to on. So if you're sampling anything into native instrument software, this is where you want to be. All right, keep in mind we're sampling in, in. Okay, so you're gonna press this button right here where it says F1, start. And as I began to talk, blah, 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 blah. This is just a tutorial, blah, 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 blah. And then you're gonna press, press stop. Cool. And you're gonna go right here to the screen, right up here where it says voice settings. You wanna click it on legato. All right, make sure you have that volume turned all the way up. Go right here to edit. Go back down here to normalize and listen to the sample. One start and as i began to talk blah 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 this is just a tutorial blah 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 okay so right here we have the sample and i already have it chopped up pretty much to the lowest point the sharpest point actually All right, cool, and that's pretty much it. You know, you can add the sample to your beat. Um, as you heard me scratching earlier, it's pretty much up to you. And that's just how you do it. You know, you can chop up um, the sample however you want. Um, you can slow it down. You know, you could just do whatever you want with it. It's your sample, put your effects on it, all right? 